Must be loony to trust a lower than low to timer like me. I have no idea what hammer time is. Or how it differs from regular time. Edit that out, like, and, and and add the add the track there in post or whatever. But yeah, uh, back to the back to the show. You know, it was just sort of like a run of the mill sort of sort of like crime drama sort of stuff. But then they threw in this kid who who was all edgy. He's like, I I got to find my dark passenger or whatever. And he had this. He had there was this one dude that like really liked menthol cough drops and I like menthol cough drops because when I eat them like if I'm feeling like a little nauseous or whatever and can't you know whatever like I eat the food can't hold it or whatever put a little menthol cough drop in and I forget everything and I do like that there was one sort of plot arc where they they you know they they shared you know some bottlenecks and and little steaks and you know after watching that show, you know, I bought everybody steaks, and I was like, "Hey, I got these steaks. Uh, you want to like cook them and stuff?" And we all had a good jolly old time. It, it was after, you know, after you know setbacks and motions and stuff. But I was like, you know what? We can, we we you know work with this and what we have and whatnots. It was, you know, we had a little good good old times, good old times. But yeah, you heard the mute. You heard the music, uh, and it it was like being in being in Miami without feeling like all the heat and the and, and all the swamp lands and stuff. But it had a little bit of those elements where it was like you were kind of put in there, sort of there. There were bazaars, and then it, I felt like you know the first season where they had that one dude, you know, he was like he was like a young 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 one. Hey, you kind of talk like this. Um, I don't know. Maybe I could just find like, maybe like a clip or whatever. I don't know, but. I'm make it Bloody Mary one. Oh, rare. Wow. I want mine. Nice. <laughs> you want yours raw? It's done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. That had a cool little arc where you kind of, you kind of did that, and then there, there was one part in like. In um, season like this, like the the second season after the whole whole cough drop out guy, because he he invited he invited Debbie Deb onto a boat, and, and it was it was a really nice little romantic boat or whatever, and it was pretty cool, like because I like boats and stuff like that, but. It just sort of like devolved into something else, and then she kept saying like stuff like we were we should probably probably check out ice trucks and stuff, and, and <laughs> they're like little 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 portable freezers, and then they they'd find out if if they find anybody with sort of like a commercial sized freezer or whatever, and it, it was it was it was real interesting because it. <laughs> It was, and then, and then, uh, and then he was, she was in Vice or whatever. She was doing like undercover work, and and then you know the ladies were making fun of her, being like, "Well, you're doing this, but you know we're doing that. We're you know we're we're the samey samey same. We're we're like you know we're bond and stuff." And then there were other things like it, she used her like connections or whatever, and then there were some um. See you know, all that stuff that you see on prom time or prime time, as they would say, you know, if you're not from the deep south. But everything prime turns into prom, and then time turns into Tom. Uh, Tom, Tom, time, Tom, Tommy, time. And so, in, in the second season, there were I, I remember there was this one cool part where he tried, he tried, you know, um. Uh, shrink wrapping a dude and then the dude got mad and he he ran away he would he renewed you know the wiener wiener guy he was huge uh, that might have happened in season three i don't know 
uh, I I could probably probably show a clip or whatever, but and just imagine that there's a picture of the Mitchell and man there. <laughs> it was it was like that. It was a like guy was made of tires. Who was like buff and stuff. And then um, yeah, that was pretty much the gist of that show. Then there was that there was that one guy that said surprise mofo and he was he, <laughs> it was that was interesting and he had those eyeballs and stuff and you know i followed him around he was a real investigator reporting he'd do this eyeball thing he'd be like i got your eyeballs and he'd do that it was like the best of uh dokes or whatever and then there was this other other guy that was pretty cool and like the first couple seasons, but then he kind of like was like not quite as cool. But he had that that weird that weird mustache. It was sort of like up there, and he had that little little patch you know, between a little little stubble thing. And he kind of reminded me of Gaff from uh, Blade Runner, and he had that kind of kind of look to him. And there was a little uh, yeah, Edward James Olmos, and we're, well, we'll we'll talk about him later. Because we're still on season two slash three. I don't know. But like season three had something to do with like finding the finding the ultimate uh, key lime pie and stuff. Because key limes are good. And it, it was a little bit uh, melodramatic because of like wedding preparations. Oh yeah. And he had like uh, there was a girl uh, play a lot like Julie Benz. And, and like she said sentences and stuff. And they did all sorts of stuff. And there were some, like, kids named Aster and Cody. Aster and Cody. And they, they did, they had uh, Avengers and stuff, I guess. I don't know. Oh, yeah. And back to, like, season two. Like, yeah, there were, there was, like, somebody made, like, a, like, a little, like, little web comic book after him and stuff. And then, like, sold it and... Or what it was like, kind of cheering this this guy on, and then there was this guy named named Lundy, and he was he was like the Monday 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 Lundy, and he I don't think it had anything to do with Mondays, but he liked to put his feet in the ocean and eat his sandwich like on the dot because he was he was like that, and, and Debbie Deb really really liked him, and she left her her other other boyfriend that like he would write you know fantasy stories and stuff but like they didn't really see eye to eye and stuff so they did like other stuff and i don't know there was like an age gap and it was it was kind of weird but it, it was a debbie deb thing because when she hears music um it's time to dance but like he called he was writing a story about ice cream and then she mixed it up with like ice queen and she got really mad, and he's like, nah, dude, it's this book I'm writing has nothing to do with you. I don't know about none of that. None of that. So they didn't know about none of that. And then there was that one part where where he would talk to the, like, she had a rivalry with this other dude, and it was like a witness whisperer. He'd be like, hey, everything's gonna, it's okay. I'm, everything's gonna be fine. And, and he was always, you know, talking like that. And then, you know, because after, after the dokes dude, you know, you know kind of weaned off, like he was the guy that was doing this. And it seems like every season there's like some, some, some gentle elk or some lady following him around and is doing this little eyeball thing or, or like the equivalent of that. But like if they were another person, you know, this clip is getting a little longer, I'll stop it and then... Maybe throw something in between that. Long live the... Long live the eyeball thing. Good job on that eyeball thing, man.